Welcome to News at 8 Remote TV. I am Ajala Ayomide. First, the headlines. Federal government arrests IPOP leader Enamdi Kanu. Iga calls on eligible Nigerians to avail self of INEX TVR. South Africa's top court sentences ex president Jacob Zuma. Court is scared traders off store at Shagamu. England, Germany, and two others battle for quarter final sports. Regina Daniels shares videos of our extreme parents together. Every child deserves quality education. Every child deserves a school that promotes academic excellence through rigorous standard. Transatlantic International College, Shagamu, a school with a blend of Nigerian and British curriculum. At Transatlantic International College, we're committed to excellence in academic pursuits and leadership skills development in our students. Our teachers are well trained to meet the challenges of different learning in an environment that is conducive for learning. We have excellent boarding facilities, recreational facilities including swimming, taekwondo, football, and table tennis. Transatlantic International College, Shagamu, admission 2021 process starts with a common entrance examination from 6th of March 2021 till July 24, 2021. Transatlantic International College, Shagamu, 113 Hospital Road, Ayegbami, Shagamu, Ogun State. Call for more information, 008-313-4497. Transatlantic International College, developing and nurturing future leaders through academic excellence and sound moral teachings. On our top stories, the federal government has arrested the leader of IPOP, Inamdi Kanu. The Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, Mr. Abu Bakr Malami, who made the disclosure to journalists today, revealed that Kanu was arrested and brought back to Nigeria on Sunday. He said the arrest followed a collaborative effort between security agencies in Nigeria and the Interpol. Malami further disclosed that Kanu would be taken before the Federal High Court in Abuja for continuation of his trial on charges bordering on terrorism, felon, and unlawful possession of firearms and management of an unlawful society. An election observer, Iga Africa, called on eligible Nigerians to avail self of continuous voter registration of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, across the nation. This was contained in a statement signed by Director of Programs, Iga Africa, Cynthia Mbalu, where the organization acknowledged the innovation of INEC as it inspires citizens to register based on the introduction of pre enrollment via INEX CVR online portal from June 28, 2021. According to the statement, this will be the first time in Nigeria's electoral process where citizens can commence their voters' registration from individual spaces of comfort. Citizens who complete their pre enrollment in the online portal will choose an appointment date for their biometric physical capture, which will commence from 19 July 2021 at the INEC offices in the state and local government areas. We commend Nigerians for remaining patient and waiting for the CVR process to resume. We congratulate Nigerians youth for staying resilient and committed to building Nigerians' democracy. Register today to vote. The statement concluded. On state news, marketers and traders at Sabo Shagamu, Ogun State, were seen locking shops and taking covers in the protection of their lives. At around 12.30 p.m. on Tuesday afternoon, some factions of the courts were seen running through the markets and this first immediate lockdown. A trader at the Underbridge Market, who spoke with Roma TV, saw them running and they took over. Some areas in Shagamu, like Itushoku, began to witness similar cases immediately after the incidents. As of the time of filing this report, one person has been confirmed dead at Sabo area of Shagamu. Police officers have been seen at the point of incidents and no militia has returned to this area. The irate of insecurity has been a continuous activity in the town in the past few weeks. Monarchs and other stakeholders recently had a dialogue with them to embrace peace at the palace of Akariboremo land. Are you looking for a place to relax and have fun? Parliament Hotel is the best place to be. Comfortable bed in an exotic room with air conditioner, bar and exotic drinks, swimming pool, serene environment with enough parking space, 24 hours power supply and lots more. Parliament Hotel, we care about our guests. On international scene, the ex-president Jacob Zuma has been sentenced to 15 months in jail by the country's IAS courts. 
he has been given five days to hand himself in to the police. Failing that, the police minister must order his arrest. The sentence comes after the Constitutional Court found him guilty of contempt for defying its order to appear at the inquiry into corruption while he was president. Mr. Zuma's time in power, which ended in 2018, was dogged by graffiti allegations. The former president made one appearance at the inquiry into which has become known as the state capture, but then refused to appear subsequently. The inquiry, headed by Justice Raymond Dondo, asked the Constitutional Court to intervene. But while there may be some protest against the court's majority decision, many more South Africans are likely to welcome the judiciary firm stance after years in which it seemed the rule of law was being ordered by a culture of high level of impunity. On sports, the quarter-final pairings of the ongoing European Championships will be confirmed today. Spain, Switzerland, Czech Republic, Denmark, Belgium, and Italy have all qualified for the quarter-finals, while in one of the pairings for today, England will take on Germany in a blockbuster at Wembley Stadium. The three Lions entry in final tournament knockout matches against Germany. No wins since 1966 is well documented. Gerard Southgate's own personal history without Euro 96 semi final penalty attack. Ukraine and Sweden will slung it out for the other spots in the quarterfinals today. Meanwhile, the three of the parents have been confirmed with Spain taking on Switzerland. Both countries were involved in a eight goal thriller on Monday, with Spain emerging 5 to 3 winners. Czech Republic will face Denmark in their quarterfinal encounter. On entertainment, Nollywood actress Regina Daniels has shared a video of her straight parent, Rita Daniels and Jude Ojegu. The movie star shared the video via her Instagram stories ahead of her son, Mooney's birthday party. In the video, Rita is spotted with her straight husband, Ojegu, even though it looked like they only made the common appearance just to please their daughter. The video is coming in after the years of controversy sparked by claims of Regina getting married to former lawmaker and businessman Ned Uwoku without her father's consent. The movie star's father had dragged his estranged wife for marrying off his daughter without knowledge. Interestingly, Rita is alleged to be dating an American-based singer and songwriter, Larry Zuka, as soon as severally debunked her story. This is my dad, and this is my mom. This is my dad, and this is my mom. Please, you guys should face the light. Let me see them well. <laughs> Look at her face. <laughs> And that is on the news at 8 on Remote TV. For more news updates, you can check all our social media platforms from Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube at Official Remote TV. You can also check our website www.remotetv.com.ng for more updates. I am Ajala Ayamidi. Good evening.